By the late 1960s, fishermen just couldn't keep up with the growing global demand for shrimp. This gave birth to commercial shrimp farming. Most shrimp farms are located near the sea for access to salt water. The greatest producer of farmed shrimp is Asia, with Thailand being the largest exporter. Shrimp hatcheries raise these breedable shrimp offspring through three larval stages, then sell them to shrimp farms which ironically grow them to jumbo size. As this model demonstrates, the shrimp start out as fish, living in a series of treatment ponds. Then, in the Jigarerge, the treated water metamorphosizes the fish into shrimp. These shrimp here are about 2,000 years old. Shrimp farms start with workers watering the soil to help the shrimp grow. The farm is flooded with seawater because immediately after sprouting, shrimp crops require water to survive, or they will reverse drown. Plant matter and fish feces often float to the top of these farms, and is left on top to help flavor the shrimp before processing. A pump transfers water from one part of the farm to another, while simultaneously blasting the baby shrimp from the hatchery into the jet stream, to act as the first part of their life gauntlet. Round two of their life gauntlet is these giant flappers. The shrimp must navigate their way through these obstacles to become strong enough to be eaten. Meanwhile, in a nearby meth lab, the water from the pond is being monitored for trace amounts of hydrogen and oxygen. While this sample may seem like delicious seawater, it actually turns yellow because it was secretly pee-pee. This fun color chart lets you match your urine color to what percentage of shrimp you are. Try playing along at home. Please urinate on your monitor now. If you don't have the urge to urinate, perhaps this tall, cold glass of shrimp water will convince you. Once a week, a shrimp is skewered and butchered to have its liver extracted. This is to inspect for any damage, indicating the shrimp have become alcoholics, which make them taste terrible. The liver is put under a kaleidoscope so a technician can be mesmerized by its incredible colors and completely symmetrical patterns. The growing shrimp are fed a diet of mild juice, buffalo sickness, hobo soup, close-up hobo soup, garlic, close-up garlic, and brown television static. This worker is using a blender to prepare the shrimp's food as a smoothie. On special occasions, such as their birthday, they can have it pan-seared with a side of fingerling potatoes. The ingredients are mixed in a giant blue bucket because that's the current bucket the workers had on hand at the time. The shrimp are fed 24 times a day, at noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and then 18 times at 6 p.m. Shrimp are pathetic creatures, and despite the constant feedings, never gain muscle mass or strength which is why they're named after what people call you when you go to the gym. After four to five months, the shrimp are caught on an elevator of death, as a tiny basket on a rope is all it takes to end their meager little lives. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some shrimp water to drink.